and it's the one with the Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. That is the Nazi anthem. You're not allowed to sing oh, that anymore. Is it? Oh, I love you more than words can say. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back here again today on this beautiful day, guys. So, guys, you guys asked me to check out 16 things not to do in Germany. Okay, 16 things not to do because you guys know I'm going. You guys are like, okay, Shady, we need you to be knowledgeable about Germany. Okay, know the things to do, the things not to do. And today, guys, you guys are like, check out this thing, check out this video. You say it's a bit funny, guys. You know me, I love things that are funny, funny, funny. Anyway, that's in too much, guys. We're gonna jump on this right away. Let's check this out. So far, like I said, Germany has been intriguing me, guys. I've been so intrigued and so taken over by German content. I'm not even gonna lie about that, guys, okay? Anyway, but before we start this video, guys, smash like, subscribe, give me that love and love and love. And let's get this started, guys, okay? First of all, as usual, I'm just gonna smash like. Yeah, support content creators. I'm gonna subscribe to them as well. All right, and let's get it started. What's up, everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States, and I am from Germany. And in this video, we're going over 16 things that you should not do in Germany. Okay. All right, so some of these things are a little more serious, and some of them are going to be pretty funny, so let's just get right into it. All That's right, good. number one. You serious should funny. never recycle wrong or throw away your Pfand. Pfand! Pfand. So Germany is a pretty green country, and people tend to take their recycling pretty serious. So if okay. you're here, you should not just throw everything in one bucket, but separate it between plastic, metal, paper, rest, and all that good stuff. I don't even know how many there are. <laughs> so Pfand is a deposit. You have to separate it. I mean, even here, like uh, in the UK, we separate it, but I think, I think it's not that strict. Deposit where you pay a little extra on bottles or cans and you'll usually return them at a little machine in the supermarkets where you get a voucher and your money back for doing a good thing. So never oh. throw away your fun bottle. You get Fun. money back. <laughs> Number fun. two, you should never drive on the left or the middle lane of the Autobahn. There's actually a law in place that requires you to drive on the right lane on the Autobahn at all times unless you're overtaking somebody. So if you're not planning to go super fast and overtake a lot of people, you're required to drive on the right lane. So don't drive in the middle of the left lane slowly and block traffic because people will get aggressive. And that makes a lot of sense because I, I watched an Autobahn video earlier and then the Autobahn experience and I noticed most of the cars were on the right or the middle lane yeah very few are on the left okay and all the cars on the left i noticed that they were overtaken as well okay so yeah that i know now and honk number three and don't, don't honk. walk in the bicycle lanes in germany there are a lot of different bicycle lanes in and out of the city and especially in student towns there'll be a lot of bikers so don't walk in them walk in the pedestrian zones or a sidewalk that's what they're for number okay. four do not address strangers using their first name it is kind of funny but strangers. in germany for the word you if you address somebody we have two versions there is du and there is z and du z sie. is a polite version it also implies that z, z you're on a last name basis so that is the polite version to use and if you meet somebody for the first time or especially an elder person you use the polite form you do not use their first name you are on a last name basis and use the z instead of the do and if you get okay. to know a person very well and you're on a friend basis on a first name basis then it's fine to use the first name and the do do diana do diana okay <laughs> number five don't use public transportation without a ticket. A lot of the public transportation systems are controlled a lot and there'll be men and women who just appear once the ride has started to check on everyone to see if they have a ticket. Yeah, they're undercover. Okay. They always have a ticket. Kind of high or <laughs> they're undercover. Ticket prices. Wait, wait, wait. He said they're undercover. <laughs> undercover agents. Yes, let's go on. They're like, okay, let's check them. Controlled a lot, and there'll be men and women who just appear once the ride has started to check on everyone to see if they have a ticket. Yeah, they're undercover. And the <laughs> fines are usually kind of high or out of proportion with the ticket prices. Yeah. A number I always have in my mind is 60 euros, but nowadays it might be even more, like 80 or 100. It's not worth it. Okay, number six, wow. and this is a little bit more of a serious one. You should never show the Nazi salute or joke about Nazis in Germany. 
I heard that. I heard that. Like, as soon as you do the Nazi uh, salute, the Nazi greeting, you're going to be in prison for like, is it three or five years? Yeah, crazy, bro. Yeah, don't mess. Don't, don't, don't do it, guys. Do not do it as a joke, okay? Of course, because of the history in Germany, it's kind of a forbidden thing to do. And most of the Germans nowadays were kind of raised by this post-World War II anti-Nazi generation. If mm -hmm. another person comes to the country and does anything Nazi related, it's so out of our minds that it's so weird that the world still thinks that. So that's quite offensive and you should never oh, ever do don't that. Do it. And by don't the way, the it. same thing also applies to sing the old version of the national anthem. And I think around the world, a couple of people well. still think that might be it. And it's the one with the Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. That is the Nazi anthem. You're not allowed to sing oh, that anymore. The real it. one is Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit, blah, blah, blah. That's the newer <laughs> national anthem. Okay, okay. And that's the only one that's supposed to be sung Noted. in Germany. Number Noted. seven, don't gossip in English in public. <laughs> Most Germans have a very decent grasp of English and they'll probably understand you. I know mm. it's very common when people go to other countries, they tend to gossip in another language. True. I've heard it spoken in a different True. languages all the time and it's a little uncomfortable and embarrassing when other people understand you. So to avoid uncomfortable situations like that, gossip behind their back. <laughs> Number eight. You should never disrespect the German quiet hours. Quiet hours. So every day or rather What's every night hours? from 10 p.m. till 6 or 7 a.m. the next morning in Germany, by law, there are quiet hours. So you're not supposed to like play loud music, do construction or anything like that. Most of the country kind of abides six. by that rule which means there's very little noise pollution during the night when you're trying to sleep or relax and i think it's a kind of a nice thing so if you do yeah. that the germans probably will call the police on you because they think they're in the right and they do that and the police knocks and I'm like turn it down never ever disrespect the quiet hours yeah i mean like that quiet hour yeah the quiet hours i think it's a general thing in a way yeah i mean it's not too strict here it's not too strict here but Still, the neighbors can call the police on you, yeah, here, but it's not as strict as they are in, in Germany. All right, so before we continue with the video, we want to take a quick moment to remind you guys, please go and like the video. It helps us out a lot. We're still a small Done already. channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I can see that about 80% of Done. the viewers are not subscribed to Done the channel. Done already, also, mate. if you want to further Don't support worry. us, you can do that on Patreon. We have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. And we have different tiers of support and benefits that you get on there. And every support is highly, highly appreciated. Yes, and we wanted to take a quick moment to shout out our newest song mate patreon jeff lobick jeff lubick lubick we're not sure if it's the german or the english pronunciation correct yeah. us if we're wrong <laughs> thank you so much thank you and back to the video let's go so number nine don't solely rely on credit card payments in Germany, there's still a lot of things that are pretty cash-based and sometimes your credit card will even be rejected from a stall or bakery or a vendor I never expected that yeah so oh, okay so some places that just uh I just cash based in Germany. Okay. Never will have told that. And I I rarely, rarely ever hold cash. Like really rarely. But okay, I'm gonna have that in mind. And sometimes your credit card will even be rejected from a stall or bakery or a vendor. So it's important to note and make sure you have cash on you. So Danke. number 10, don't expect small talk. If you're from the South and you're used to the good old Southern American small talk, that's not going to happen. And it's not trying to be rude, it's just a cultural difference. So don't expect a chat with a random stranger about the weather or something. Okay. <laughs> Number 11 I'm gonna remember is that. do not expect free water anywhere. So if you're used to the American way, you go to a restaurant the and British the waiter way. comes right away with a nice bucket of cold ass water and refills you for free all evening long. That is not a thing in Germany and you should not expect that. I think it's quite of a dumb thing, but it. water in German restaurants is quite expensive and most of the times even bubbly. Sprudelwasser. Mm, so in some places you water. could actually ask for tap water and potentially get it for free, but a lot of places don't even do that and if they do it might be a little frowned upon, but in general you should not expect free water everywhere. Number okay. 12. Okay. Do not enter a house with your shoes on. 
No so way. over in Germany, it's pretty common to take off your shoes if you enter somebody else's house. Mm -hmm. Or at least you should ask if you should take your shoes off. And sometimes they'll say, no, you don't have to. But a lot of times people take their shoes off right at the entrance, leave them there and then just walk around in your socks. Leave your... That's similar to African culture. Like African culture, once you get to someone's house, you take off your shoes before you go in. Yeah, it's just a cultural thing. It's more like a respect thing. Yeah. But like um, Germany being uh, Europe, I never, I didn't think that. I didn't think that. I mean, here, uh, if I'm going to go into someone's house, yeah, like, I mean, obviously you can go into the house with your shoes. But if you want to get into like the living room or places with carpets or rugs, you take off your shoes, you know. Leave your dirty shoes in the front. Yeah. I'm kind of curious how many of the households do that. I would say the majority of the households Nigeria, in Germany do that India, thing and do not walk around with their shoes on. Maybe let us know in the comments below Africa, if you actually, had to take Africans your shoes off it. at your parents' house or how you do it at the moment. So number 13, don't give advance birthday wishes. No. Even if it's a day before someone's birthday and you will not see them on their birthday, do not wish them a happy birthday. It's not their birthday yet. I learned that after coming to Germany. You are not allowed to wish them a happy birthday until on their birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. Birthday. Don't yeah, tell me happy birthday to today. In the US that a lot of people do that actually. Some people will have a party a week in advance if that just works with their schedule. So much bad luck. <laughs> Is it? Number 14 is okay. kind of a very serious one. You should never ever expect to be dressed in a sauna on every beach. All right, this is kind of a funny one. We just wanted to throw that in there. In <laughs> Germany, in a sauna, what? usually... Who's gonna dress in the sauna? Like, someone else are really hot. Like, oh wait, you mean you're gonna be butt naked? So you can't like have something on, a bit of something to cover you. Are you, you mean you're gonna be butt naked or what? What are you telling me? You are naked. You go in with a towel and then you take it off or whatever, but you are actually not allowed to wear any clothing. If you wear clothing in there, people can get the whatever security or supervisors and they'll throw you out or make you undress. You must be naked. Yeah, there are also parts of but beaches naked. in Germany that are especially for nakedness. Nude Nudity. Beaches. <laughs> yeah, nude oh, beaches. We got I heard FKK, of the nude beaches. Freikörperkultur. And on these beaches, you have to be naked. It's not allowed to wear any clothes. Like fully Ooh. naked? Yeah, fully naked. Stop. Yeah, Ooh. so I've yet to go to a nude beach or a nude sauna, but um, I'm open to it. Oh, oh. <laughs> should I be concerned? Why? <laughs> it's gonna be all a bunch of older people. So number 15, don't <laughs> abandon your said. shopping cart. I feel like in the US, sometimes there'll be shopping carts spread throughout the parking lot and they'll just be like a shopping cart ghost town. In Germany, that is not the case. You need a coin to access a cart and you also want your coin back. So you have to return the cart to get your coin back. Coin and back. it's a good yeah, a lot system, of times. it's nice, yeah, it's and there's not abandoned shopping carts everywhere. And our last point, okay. point number okay. 16, okay. is in Germany, you should not jaywalk. We ain't in New like York America. City. Yeah, but we're kind of in Berlin. So let's say you should not, but a lot of people still do it. Although I think the majority of the people kind of follow the rules and they do not jaywalk. They you get charged. Cross where the little traffic light is and then only when the when green the man mannequin, tells you. not the red one. And it's <laughs> not that hardly persecuted, but you can actually get fined if you get caught in the act jaywalking. So the police sees you, gets you, and I don't know how much it is, 5, 10, 20 euros, something like that. So you should not jaywalk. Do not jaywalk in Germany, in Germany as well. Alright, so those okay. were our 16 okay. things that you should okay. not do if you go to one. Germany. Let us know in the comments below if you can think about any other things that you shouldn't do in Germany. Also, maybe you've been to Germany and some things of these might have happened to you. We would be curious to hear about that. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Very, very interesting video. Very, very interesting video. Guys, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for this request. Okay. Um, from beginning to end, I was just there entertained completely, even though they were just there talking about the experience, but it was very interesting. Like their energy, the way they did it, their vibes was just so nice. They got this very good aura about them and so much positivity as well. Okay. At least now I've learned a few things that I shouldn't do in Germany. Definitely jaywalking. Nah, man's not going to jaywalk. Nah, because I'm not ready to pay no fine. Okay. Jump on the bus. 
I always have my tickets anyway. Like anytime I'm on the bus, I have my Oyster card. Okay, which is fine. You touch and you touch up. There are inspectors that come on like very, very rarely, once every blue moon. Okay, I've learned about the autobahn as well. Oh, definitely autobahn. I'm gonna stick to the right lane. Okay, stick to the right lane. Okay, and respect the happy hours. Oh, that's happy hours. Respect the quiet hours from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Respect that, guys. Okay, recycle. Make sure you recycle the right the right way. Split them up correctly. Okay. <laughs> shopping carts. Do not abandon your shopping carts, guys. Quite a few things. Quite a lot of things. I mean, a lot of the things there is more common sense in the sense that um as a civilized human being you should put things in order you should be well organized okay be well organized and you'll be fine all right guys anyway 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 guys this was interesting like i said i did enjoy you guys thank you very much for teaching me 16 things i shouldn't do in germany all right guys and it's me over shady shady one and only let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section let me know more of the things um people should, are not allowed to do okay and um yeah like i said if you've had an experience also do let me know in the comment section if you will find guys let's know let's know let's get it bubbling and entertaining all right guys gonna be a peace out from me peace out Love you more than words can say, you are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way, you are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say, you are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way.